Hi, this is Ann Pearson with the Paralegal Bootcamp. Today I'm going to give you three quick tips on time management that specifically relate to paralegals and other legal professionals. There are thousands of time management tips out there, but it's a little different when you're working as a paralegal because your deadlines are usually set by a court rule or government regulation, maybe a closing date or a court order. In other words, you don't have the flexibility in saying, I can't get it done or can I have a couple more days to get that done? And I know you're really busy, so let's jump right in and get started. Tip number one is to stop multitasking. I know it seems like you're getting a lot done when you're juggling a few things at once, and then at the end of the day you're saying, wow, I handled all those phone calls from the clerk while the associate was in my office giving me edits on that brief, and all the while I was putting together that notebook of deposition exhibits. But here's the thing. You weren't doing all three of those things at the same time. You were task switching from one to another. And there's a study out there that says you could be losing as much as 40% of your productivity when you're multitasking. 40%. Imagine if you stopped multitasking and could get back some of that time. So tip number one, stop multitasking. Tip number two is to think differently about what your to-do list should look like. List tasks instead of projects. It'll be more clear when you're looking at your to-do list what you have to do today, right now. Let me show you what I mean. This might be the typical to-do list. You've got three things on your to-do list and it's what you've got to work on this week and into next week. The problem with this is that these are projects. They're not tasks. And within these projects, there's more than one task that has to be completed. So you could have these three things on your to-do list all week, all month even. So instead, go and break these down into tasks. So for the deposition prep, instead of having this as your to-do list, identify what you actually have to do. So first, maybe you have to do some research in the database for documents authored by Jones. But you also have to look for documents received by Jones. You've also got to gather the potential exhibits. And maybe you have to serve the subpoena. So there's all kinds of tasks that you have for this one project. The same thing for the trial prep. You you don't just have trial prep as a task. You probably have to prepare the exhibit list, prepare the witness list. There could be dozens of things that you have to do. This way, visually, you can check these things off your to-do list and you'll feel rewarded when you leave at the end of the day when you see that you've done several of these tasks related to these bigger projects. And that was tip number two. List your tasks instead of your projects on your to-do list. All right, let's move on to tip number three. Prioritize your workday every single day. This chart comes from Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So he said that most people spend more time in the bottom right quadrant of this diagram, the not urgent and not important time, that we spend more time in that quadrant than we think. But if we looked at these quadrants as a paralegal, it might look something more like this, productive, not productive. So I just changed it from the urgent or important and not important to productive, not productive. Or we could look at it as billable and not billable if you're working in a law firm. So the theory here is that when you're prioritizing your work day, you should first start in the upper left quadrant working on the urgent productive stuff and don't move into the bottom quadrant until you're finished with the top two quadrants. So it might look like this if it was billable versus not billable work. You literally map out, you wouldn't do it in green squares like this, but you could map it out on your legal pad before you leave each day, what you have to do tomorrow that's urgent and billable. Or maybe you map it out first thing in the morning and you literally 
draw quadrants on your legal pad of paper and in the upper left you list the things that you have to get done today and you don't focus any time or energy on anything that's in any of the other quadrants until you finish everything that's in that quadrant so after the first one two three then you'd move into the not urgent but billable if you're not in a law firm with a billable hour requirement you would just change that word to productive, not productive. One other way that you can prioritize your workday if you don't want to draw squares on a legal pad is to use the Ivy Lee method, which is at the end of the workday, you write down the six most important productive things that you need to accomplish tomorrow. No more than six. Prioritize those six in the order of importance. And when you arrive tomorrow, concentrate only on that first task. You work on it until it's finished and you can check it off. You approach the rest of the list the same way. Then at the end of the workday, move any of those unfinished items to your new list for the next day and you add three more things to it. Now as paralegals, we know we're probably going to have different priorities each day. So what is on this list as four, five, and six doesn't necessarily mean it becomes one, two, and three tomorrow because there could be three other more important things that we have to get done and start working on tomorrow. And that was tip number three, prioritize your work day every day. Thank you so much for joining me today with our paralegal time management tips. 